Hello, this is Jose from City of Cars. Today I wanted to do a walk around video for you guys on the 2013 Ford Mustang GT500. So the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of walk around the whole vehicle body so you can kind of get a good representation of the condition of the vehicle. Obviously being super low miles, uh, the condition is gonna reflect that as this is pretty much like a brand new used car. I don't really see many imperfections on the car itself. I'm gonna look we're gonna go a little closer this time around I mean you got a couple little nicks here and there so obviously you can see a couple little highway rock ships but quite frankly they are pretty minimal obviously for being a 2013 I would say this vehicle is in excellent condition that's just a little piece of grass I don't really there's not a lot of fault on it it's in really really good shape oh you got no nope, that's just another piece of grass yeah nope Besides those little rock ships on the car, I can't really find any major imperfections. Another really nice thing about this car, it is going to have that glass roof. So if we open it up right here and you see on top, that is definitely a really cool feature. Obviously the Ricardo seats. This is a 20th anniversary edition, which is really nice. You can kind of see the underglow of the blue, so you do can customize the lights. Steering feel, suspension, and looks like you got launch control. Let's go ahead and turn this puppy on. Make sure we're in neutral. And go ahead and fire it up. Nice little welcome screen, Shelby GT500. Good afternoon. Got a couple of, little bit of gas. As you can see here, as we turn the steering feel, you do have that little indicator on the dash. Let me try to get the camera to focus, there we go. So you can see sports mode, regular, comfortable, and same thing with the suspension. You can kind of get that customized, that, which is kind of nifty. Uh, let's take a peek, obviously, to open the trunk. Your climate control systems. Uh, that does have a little 12 volt in here, which is kind of nice. Uh, little cup holders. If we open this up. You do have a little compartment here. It gives you what's this little guy? Looks like a little clip for for something. And then in here you also do have a little remote. Open and close. So it looks like an aftermarket fob. And you have a USB and auxiliary plug as well. If you look at the seats conditions. Everything appears to be in really good shape. Obviously, if you look at the mileage here, we have exactly 17,817 on the clock. Uh, let's go ahead and do our favorite thing on these and pop the hood. Yeah, find the little guy here. There we go. Very clean engine. Got a little bit of supercharger right up front. Car again, immaculate condition. You can tell that this thing was babied. One last thing, we're gonna kinda look at each one of the rims. You can see no signs of visible curb rash, which means this guy actually knew what he was doing. Also, tires are pretty much brand new. You can kind of see that right there. They're strapped, strapped with some Michelins. Uh, Pilot Sport 4S's, so really good tires. And looks like they all have pretty decent tread on them, as you can see there. Also kind of gave you a little undercarriage shot. So you can see that car was definitely kept inside the garage. The thing I always like to point out is this front splitter. As you can see, you got a couple little nicks and knacks here and there. Obviously, that just tends to happen, but nothing major. Still looks in pretty good shape. Just a couple little, little nicks here and there, but other than that, the car's in excellent shape. Let's go ahead. I think we already popped the trunk. Uh, where'd it go? Do, 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 do. There it is. Let's take a peek what's in here. got your original GT500 floor mats and if we lift this up then you got the inflator kit underneath little exhaust note there for you 
I'll go ahead and get back in, give it a couple revs. Definitely pops and gargles. But please let us know if you have any additional questions. Obviously, we are here to help.